This canal is a major boundary between Jakande Estate, Ashamu Bukno Estate and other adjoining communities in Ijigoloku Council Development Area, Lagos State. The non-completion of the channelization of the drainage into the primary canal at Okeafa, as well as which path it should follow, is a bone of contention in this story. On the Ashamu Bokono side, some residents say the construction of the waterway ought to go on a straight line, but certain buildings erected along its way have caused a significant blockage. This is why their homes were marked and pulled down to create a new channel. We have these issues for a long time, so we have to charge the matter to court as a civil matter. So court gave an order for everybody to stop till the uh, court concludes on, on what to do. But the, the ministry keep coming here, diverting the face of this canal to this upper side. What happened on 7th, I can't even understand. On 8th in the morning, they came here and brought the, uh, the, the, the house down and said the case had been struck out. But as I'm talking to you, the matter is coming up on 23rd of this month. We are to have this, the sitting is coming up and they are where they were properly served. But on the other side of the canal and right beside Jack and the Estate are Peace Home Valley CDA and Unity CDA. Two communities that have for many years been battling with flooding caused by the non-completion of the canal. The chairman of Peace Home Valley CBA takes us a bit back to when it all began in 2014. So, where government is constructing is the route because they gave us the chart. The community that was invited in that 2014 meeting, we are my own community. Peace Home Valley, the other community they call the Unity, Chairman Pastor Wansu, the other community, uh, Shamu East, their chairman is Saka. So every protocol was observed, every procedure was observed. It was a dialogue from the beginning, and it is their chat they are following. And they have even given them a listening ear by when they complain. They brought in high power delegation from the ministry who came in with them, moved from the beginning to the end, and they showed them that this is the route. To get a clearer picture of the situation, we speak to the Permanent Secretary, Office of Drainage Services and Water Resources in Lagos State. Resolving all these flooding challenges, that was why government awarded the project in 2021, yeah, 2021 to resolve that flooding situation. And as we find, we've been asking you to leave the alignment. Now the hen has come home to roost. We need to remove you from the alignment. And for over a year, some people in the area took us to court because we served military soldiers that we're going to remove their property that we can conclude the project. There was an injunction for almost a year we waited. But sometime last week, the court threw out the matter because of their non challenge due to the court process that they instigated. The court to throw away the matter, and so we had to now go with the project. While the Lagos state government has taken decisive action to pull down all structures it says are built over the natural stream, the affected residents say the exercise is unjustified and are appealing to the governor to intervene in the matter. So far, at the time of this report, almost 10 buildings have been demolished.